Hi guys, I will try to make it a little bit shorter because the battery shows me like 12 minutes left so I guess that will be the limit. So I have a little bit of sad news because it was to be expected, it had to come to an end. Not everything can go on forever. So yeah, this is the end. And before some of you will jump off their chairs and be happy, I'm just talking about the end of my vacation, which actually wasn't really a vacation, it was just two weeks off and I didn't really have much free time because I made at least one video a day and so on. So no, I'm not going anywhere in case you were hoping for that. But what will, what will happen is there will be definitely less of these rambling, rambling, uh, random ramblings, which I will talk also about later, something that actually I didn't expect, but that was my stupid stupidity. So there will be less videos and I think it was pretty much too many uh, anyways. So I don't, any, I don't think anyone wants that many in the first place. So today I don't have really many topics because this is some kind of the end of the week. So I have at least the weekend to myself to chill and recharge my batteries before I have to go to work. So the topic today is Nexus design. And what I mean by that is I, we saw the new leak today once again, it's pretty much the same one of the Nexus, LG Nexus or something like that, whatever it will be. And just be before I'm going to talk about that, there are a few people that still think there will be a Motorola Nexus. And sorry to disappoint you, but I don't see that happening at all. It is end of August and we haven't seen any indication of a Motorola leak. Yes, I know it was always supposed to be two devices from one manufacturer and Motorola still has one to do, but we have no indication. I don't think it will happen. It's just not in time anymore. And we saw so many leaks of Huawei already. And oh yeah, my battery is getting near death. And we saw so many leaks from a um, supposedly LG device. But that is the one thing I want to talk about. I think I'm not quite sure what the issue is with Google and LG devices in terms of their design language. Because if you look back, the HTC, the Nexus One, looked very similar to the base of the regular device, the HTC Desire. They were very similar. Then we had the Nexus S and the Galaxy S, very, very similar. Then we had, I don't even know what the third one was before the Nexus 4. Yeah, the Galaxy Nexus. Yeah, we had the Galaxy Nexus. That one didn't really have a base. Or it did? It was the Galaxy S, I think, yes. But I mean, there were two Nexus, two Galaxies on a Nexus base, both similar. Then we had the Nexus 4, which already looked a little bit more estranged from its base, the G, Optimus G, I think it was. So that was what the first thing there, LG had the device and the Nexus 4 didn't look really much as it would come of that base, but it still was kind of similar. Then we had the Nexus 5 that I think was supposed to be based off the LG G2, which was so strange that I don't even see the similarity because we had a different screen size, a huge difference in terms of battery size. The display was not nearly as good, the speaker was nearly as good, the ergonomics and the feel in hand was nearly as good. So it was a really, if based on a G2, extremely watered down. Then we had the Nexus 6, that one, didn't really have a base that it looked like, but it looked pretty much exactly like the Moto X did, just bigger. So they kept all the great things that the Moto X had, just pumped it up and it was bigger. Qualities were the same, everything was on par with its base. And now we have these new rumors and again, the LG Nexus doesn't look anything like what LG did release this year. They could have made something like okay, this is just assuming it will look anything like this, the leak, but they could have made something like a smaller LG G4, similar battery size, display, and all that. But what we see right now is some kind of breeding between a Lumia 640XL with the camera hump, then it slightly still remember, resembles a Nexus 5, but 
overall it doesn't look really appealing there's so much things in terms of design that look wrong i personally okay if it's a little bit smaller i'm not quite sure about the button placement yet i would wish for it to be on the other way around but it seems at least better than on the nexus 5 which i think it was a disaster it putting the power button so much up top that was ergonomically to totally wrong <coughs> also <coughs> sorry the sides they look just in the wrong direction i don't think it will feel comfortable and smooth and organic in the hand it will feel very odd i think personally so once again as you can see it's lg if you look at the huawei nexus that that looks at least looks still like a huawei and like the base or something like that if you look at the huawei sma7 but then the lg nexus doesn't look anything like that and i'm quite interested or curious why LG allows so much of a differentiation of their basic line. Maybe they want, they don't want this similarity, so people maybe no, don't mix it up with their real LG phones. Or Google says, no, we want something like this, and if you want to make it, you will. I, I'm absolutely not happy with what we see so far and also the 808 and yeah it seems like a decent nexus again but it it's still look at it, it it looks very very cheap of course maybe it will feel better than it looks maybe it will perform better than it looks on paper and so on so yeah i'm not quite sure what is with it. that was the, the whole purpose of this not rant lg and Nexus doesn't look anything like its base where all the other Nexus before did. So what I wanted to talk about, yeah, and the chair is squeaking and I was looking for one. The one I found that was the most comfortable one, if you saw the last video when I said it, was the DX Racer, but it's 280 euros here, which is just too much for me to justify because I spent 30 bucks for this, so that would be about 10 times more. No, no. I I think I've gonna I'm gonna stick to this. Maybe once the DX Racer gets a deal or something like that. Man, that squeaking is going. So what I wanted to talk about what was actually funny because I made this series called Random Rambling, not even knowing what rambling means or at least not what it really means because I what I thought what it would mean because what I thought what I do is randomly talk and just talk but not really proper talking and i was i actually meant something more like babbling to babble or to prattle so like or or a mumbling because i don't always speak super um yeah i don't really learn a word so that you can understand me and that's what i thought rambling means and that's why i meant random rambling i meant random because sometimes I drift off and ramble, but I meant babble. But yesterday when I was thinking about making the podcast, which I will go also to, I saw what rambling actually means. And it is kind of like wandering off or getting off track and so on. And actually it fits very good if you see random rambling as what it means. It fits the purpose even better. So I will stick with that. And if there will be a podcast, I think I will just name it Random Rambling. And that is the last point that I will get to is the podcast. I said I will think about making one. If I get 100 likes, I have 102 right now with two dislikes. But let's not see that as it is. And so this would mean I would kind of at least have to consider it and I definitely did but I asked you once again if you actually saw that to be serious because I found it more to be like a joke and so far I got I think three or four people actually posting they want one and this definitely isn't enough for me and because the first one the first podcast the damn podcast didn't take off I got like maybe 30 views or listeners every time that's definitely not worth the time what it would also mean is if I do the podcast, it would be like once a week at best for an hour. But then I, f I don't think I will have enough topics to either do the random ramblings throughout the week, but maybe like two or three at best, and then the podcast. So what would, what would happen? 
either I take those topics of the random rambling, put it in the podcast, and then don't do the random ramblings, or I do the random ramblings and don't do the podcast. But what I also thought I would do, because if I would do a podcast, if, like, for example, 20 people post a comment into this video saying, I want the podcast. Then I will consider it. And I really made up my mind. I thought a lot about what I would need to do and, and how it would look like uh, make a pilot or something just for you to see. But the thing is, if I would do that, I would every Saturday go up here in the studio, turn the record button on and just babble or ramble for about a week. I wouldn't make any plans before. I wouldn't make any topics. I wouldn't make anything. And what comes up, comes up. There won't be any editing or anything because the podcast for me back then was planned to be the most raw and most casual most informal thing that can that possibly comes out of me and these random ramblings already are pretty much that but if i don't have a camera pointing at me i will okay um, i i can't sit any more comfortable than i do right now with my feet on the chair on the table but then i could be a little bit closer to the microphone chill completely out and talk about everything I want to but maybe if I don't have a proper topic at any point in time I could just talk about any random things maybe a TV show what happened or mo maybe a, a movie I saw and that so it will be very very disorganized very unplanned and if you are okay with all then really want it definitely let me let me know but otherwise i have nothing to add i said what i wanted to like i said maybe i did say it on the start i don't know it is definitely not what you usually get here on the rambling ramblings but these are things that i wanted to get out because from now on it will get to a more regular schedule again so things could change and i'm saying bye the yeah i won't make a um a German word of the day because you got it in some way because of the rambling. So sorry about that. Next time again. Until next time. And likes again, comments, reshares would be great. So bye.